In previous units, we've looked at solving exponential equations. An example of an exponential equation could be 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. We know that 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so we could say that x was equal to 4. With an exponential equation, we have the unknown as the power. So we're looking to solve for x. Another example might be 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is equal to 8 to the power of 2x. And we looked at solving this particular equation by writing the bases the same. So we'd have 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is equal to 2 cubed raised to the power of 2x. I know that 8 now is a power of 2, so I can rewrite this and get the bases the same. At this stage, we use the rules of indices. a to the power of m raised to the power of n was equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So we end up at this stage with 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 6x. If the bases were the same, we could equate now the powers. So we had 3x plus 1 was equal to 6x. Subtracting 3x from both sides, 3x was equal to 1 and x was equal to 1 third. We'll go ahead and check that that value now satisfies the equation and we solved it. So this was now solving an equation where we had the unknown as the power and we could make the bases the same. This is not always going to be the case. In this video, we're going to look at solving exponential equations. We're going to look at three different types. We're going to look at the type when we have an unknown on one side, an unknown on both sides, and 